Hello, I'm Malin. Today I wanted to talk about um, the power of momentum. So when you're trying to start something new or you're getting into something and you kind of want to change something, at the start it's always so hard. You know, it's like um, the difficulty of starting something can be difficult and it's new and it's all foreign and you're trying and I'm trying to grab like the grasp, like the concepts of it. Um, so recently I've been trying to teach myself piano um, because I just wanted to learn piano because it was something that I've interested in. You know, I've played a lot of guitar, I've done singing and I've done bits and pieces of piano and music theory, but I haven't, you know, stuck to it. You know, I haven't stuck to like practicing music day after day. And, you know, maybe that's because it's not the right thing for me or maybe it's because I haven't dedicated myself to it and I guess I'll just figure that out along the way and you know the start of starting something and changing your habits is always really hard because you want to go back to what's easiest you know I find myself wanting to go back and like oh maybe I should stop recording videos and you know maybe I just keep working and do these other things and kind of just get on by but then I kind of realized like that didn't really make me happy that's not really what I want and if I want to keep getting those same results and keep feeling unhappy like I did before, then I can continue doing that or I can kind of try and shift and change. And, you know, once you kind of start making that change, it's easier to build this momentum. You know, there's still a lot of friction sometimes, but then once you start get going, it's kind of like this snowball effect that starts to happen. And I guess the hardest part is kind of like when there's this dip where you kind of realize oh, I really don't know a lot and this is going to take a lot of time. This is going to take a lot of energy. I'm not really sure about this. I'm not really great at this and I'm aware that I'm not very good at this. Is it worth pursuing or not? And I think the only way you can kind of see if it is or not is just stick through it. Stick through it for a bit longer and then kind of see and reflect and see, oh, did I like this? Did I not like this? So for me with football, that was committing to playing at a semi-professional kind of level and then I realized that that really didn't make me very happy and I didn't want to I didn't fit in there and I didn't really like the kind of ego kind of propping up thing you know about being the best and I did I do want to be my best I do believe that I can be the best but it's just that I don't want to be the best in football because it feels like such a narrow kind of field of view you know and I have this mind that's really creative and that's really open and logical and intelligent and I want to use that and I want to share that with other people and develop that even more because this is a natural skill that I kind of have um, so yeah I think I'm kind of still figuring this out but from what I from what I've seen in my life um, I need to kind of stick to things and kind of practice discipline a bit more because I've been a bit lazy, kind of just doing whatever. Well, I've been motivated. It's not that I've been lazy. It's been that, that I've been motivated to do things that haven't really given much to my life. And I kind of want to change that. So that's why I'm going to try. I'm trying to commit to these things a bit more, you know, practicing piano every day, painting every day working out consistently, eating a diet every day, recording these videos and uploading them every day. And all we can do is kind of make a decision on our best guess and kind of go along with it. And then once you just to kind of start building momentum, you kind of reflect and see, look back and like, oh, did I like this trail? How does this kind of make me feel? How do I feel about it? Do I want to keep going down in this direction? Is it something that I want? And I think the best example for that with me is working out. It's something that I've stuck to for over four years. You know, there's been periods where I haven't done it as consistently as I wanted. There's been periods where I haven't really been motivated to do it, but I've kind of stuck to it because I realized I enjoy the feeling of building muscle. I enjoy the feeling of taking care of my body and becoming stronger and seeing a change in my physical presence and gaining better posture. And... I guess that's that's all we can really do you know make these choices build momentum go along kind of see what works what doesn't work what we want to do and stick to it as best we can and
try and pick things that are healthier for us that kind of set us up for a better kind of life because I was very motivated in the past to kind of play video games, watch movies, TV shows, eat whatever I kind of felt like at times. And this kind of led me downwards, you know, in this downward spiral. And so I had to find things that motivated me to make a positive change, which was creating these videos. You know, I have a bit of accountability with people that are watching this, with you that is watching this, with myself for uploading these videos and trying to distill my ideas and develop my own philosophy rather than just consuming. <laughs> so thank you for watching if you did and I'll see you in the next video.